I've never seen full self-driving take a U-turn before. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Got another full self-driving test for you. I'm going to try a different route, try to see if I can make FSD do something at least a little bit different. But yeah, let's get started. So got the destination all input. I'm going to hold this to pre uh, activate FSD. Tap the brake. And we are on our way. According to the map here, it needs to take a U-turn. I've never seen full self-driving take a U-turn before. Let's try to adjust our camera, make sure we're good. Yeah, I've never seen it take a U-turn before, so this should be interesting. Let's see if it actually does it. Oh, oh good car. And it saw those cars uh, before I did. Oh, it's actually going, there we go. Nice, very human-like, that's exactly what I would do. Yeah, it's got, it says it's going to take a U-turn up here, which, you know, that's not illegal. It says you can do it, so we shall see. Can the, can the Model Y take a U-turn here? I'm very curious. I'm very curious what's going to happen. Oh, oh wow. I've never seen full self-driving take a U-turn before. Very impressive. I felt like it could have been a little bit tighter, like it could have began, began the turn like right away instead of it kind of pulled out a little bit and then just did this kind of gradual turn. But overall, not bad. Uh, the U-turn was definitely not as smooth as it would have been in my Cybertruck. Uh, damn, I missed that, uh, that four-wheel steering and that steer-by-wire. <laughs> but it's okay. I still love you, Y. It's all right. All righty. Here. We're all very nice. Yeah, I'm very impressed with just how smooth full self-driving is lately. So speed limits. Yep, we're still good on all those fronts. I do notice though, it, it, FSD, it's not perfectly centered in the lane. Oh, I think as I say that, now it is. Because there is a little bike lane right here, but the only problem is you can't like it's gone. You can't even see it anymore. So honestly, I can't even fault the car for that. Because shoot, I can't even really see it. Which that's a bad thing about Vegas. They are really bad. Like uh, like the pa uh, the paint and the lines here have just been absolutely eaten away by uh, by the weather, by the sun mainly. And even though like this is a newer part of town too, this t this is not that old and other parts are, are even worse. So yeah, that's like, that's the thing going forward is, okay, with me and interpretation, you know, with the old Mark one eyeball, I see and interpret things to the best of my extent. Like, I'm curious, like, you know, what the car, like, how's the car going to interpret some of these crazy lines? And also I'm still curious with, uh, I still haven't been able to confirm whether the robo taxi thing is happening, you know, this coming week. There were big rumors that it was happening on the 12th, but I have not, like Tesla has not confirmed that. I think some, some like mainstream media or something like started that rumor and I haven't heard anything about it. Tesla yet to confirm it. So I've heard that there are people that already bought plane tickets to go to Austin on the 12th for the robo taxi event, which that's wild. Uh, I wish I was that kind of content creator. I wish I had that kind of money. Maybe with all of your help, I can become that way. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, watch my videos. Hopefully I can get a little bit of money out of this one. All right, yeah, we're heading up here onto the freeway. Uh, I'm very curious on how FSD is gonna perform, you know, transitioning from the standard street environment to the freeway environment and if it performs like I would. I, I've seen quite a few comments of, you know, people that have a disability or people that are elderly, and it's given them, them their ability to drive again. And that's, that is heartwarming. I love that. It makes people more independent and gives, it gives people their life back. 
And, you know, with Tesla and full self-driving, I respect that. But I just wish people were, yeah, a little more enthusiastic or a little bit more open to trying new technology. All right, that's interesting. So we have to turn after this light, turn right, and the car decided to get in the center lane. That's weird. That makes no sense. So now if people come up next to me, now the car is going to have to you know, like cut those people off or is going to have to impede traffic. So I'm curious what it's going to do. We're still zero touches on the steering wheel right now. I haven't touched the wheel once. Let's see, come on. Nope. Hopefully everybody is having a good weekend. I said it's hot. It says it's 101 right now, folks. God, and this isn't even peak weather in Vegas. It's still, you know, we still have 20 degrees left to go. I think uh, we broke the record last year for mo uh, the hottest of the year. I think it got to 121 last summer. Ooh. Nasty. Yep, here we go. Like here comes all the cars and here's what it's gonna do. Yeah, it's gonna have to either let this car go or it's gonna literally have to like quickly. Yep, so we, we, got, we got the turn signal on. Switching lanes. So, okay, that wasn't the worst, but that is not what I would do. I would not do something weird like that. I would be in the very right lane. So yeah, I'm not sure why I decided to go with that route, but it, it, it is what it is. Maybe hopefully they'll fix it in a future update. No, really, that's it, folks. We are at our destination. FSD took me from point A to point B without having to touch the wheel once. Amazing. But, yep. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. It helps me out a ton, more than y'all know. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that, please, if, if you want. If you don't, it's not gonna hurt my feelings, but... I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. See ya!